Hello all, I'm Sai and you're watching The Book Dragon. In today's video, I'm bringing to you my reading vlog in which I'll be reading A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid Hosseini. Ever since I put this book on my April TBR, many of you guys have been excited so much for me reading this and all of you have said only really good things about this one. That's one of the main reasons why I'm starting this book as the first book in April. I have not started this as the first book to be true. I've started another one but I do think I'll be finishing this one first and I should say I started this one this morning. I am uh, filming this on the 3rd of April, Saturday. So it's nearly afternoon now and I'm 138 pages into the book and I should say I've uh, finished the first part of the story and I'm into the second part. So I, I'm more interested in knowing a lot more about Mariam's story rather than Lila's. Okay, we've just stepped into Lila's story and I should say the place in which Mariam's story was put on hold was very very good. Okay, I want to explore more of her story and it seems more young adult or new adult-ish compared to Lila's because Lila's a child whereas Mariam is an adult who's just become an adult right now and I want to see more of her story and how it evolves in the years to come and I can surely sense that this is not the end for her story so we've got almost two thirds of the book left so I'm very much interested in reading this. One of the other main reasons why I'm filming this vlog is because I'm not just going to be reading this one I also have some journaling to do today so I'll be providing you with montages of that one also so I'm not sure how I'm going to proceed with all the things that I'm going to put together this vlog but I do think you guys are going to enjoy this so without any further ado let's just uh, see all the various things that I'm going to put together in this vlog. Hi again guys, I just wanted to show you two books which I received just yesterday, okay? Yesterday was the day I reorganized my bookshelves and that was my previous video, you can check it out if you are interested. And I received two new books, okay, in addition to all the books that I already possess, like I don't have enough. And there are two books which I am very much interested in reading a lot, okay? The first one is this one, A Man Called Uva, Uwe, Ov. Okay, many people uh, pronounce it in different ways and I'm going to look it up before I start reading the book. Okay, I've been more interested in this one since I saw Murphy Napier's review of this one. Okay, Frederick Bachman is her most favorite author and this is the latest book that she has read from him. But this is his first ever book. Okay, after seeing that review itself, I became like so emotional. That review was so heart touching for me. So I went forward and bought this. Okay, so I don't know when I'll be reading this but ever since watching that review, I want to read this so so badly. I'm not sure when I'll be reading this but I'm very much interested in picking this up as soon as I can okay and one thing which just makes my soul so happy after seeing this book is the designing of this book okay trust me this is the most beautiful paperback that I've ever seen okay I also think this is the most beautiful paperback that I ever own uh, the designing is so so beautiful okay just see the chapter headings also each and every chapter heading has some kind of doodle and it just looks so so pretty I've also heard that the book is so heartwarming as well as a bit sad so let's just wait and see how it's going to go the second book is the one I know that is going to be so close to my heart and it's because of one of the main characters, you can just see from there. And it is The Lost Book of the White by Cassie Clare and Wesley Chu. This is the second book in the Eldest Curses series, okay? The first thing which just struck me so hard after seeing this cover is that it is so beautiful in person rather than just seeing it as an image on Amazon, okay? Just see the shiny cover, it's just so so beautiful. and. I thought the illustration of Magnus was not good but after seeing it like in person, okay, I know the book is not a person but after physically seeing the book as such, I am just so satisfied with this cover, it's just so 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 gorgeous. There's one thing which just bumps the hell out of me after seeing this book which is its combination with the Red Scrolls of Magic which I am halfway through, okay, more than halfway through. I have completed more than 300 pages, sorry 200 pages of the book and this is the first book which I started. Now, the worst thing about these two is that they are part of the same series and they released the Red Scrolls of Magic in this edition because 
of this edition of the Lost Book of the White and they did one ter terrible thing. Okay, I didn't want to buy the old edition because I wanted the books to match in the series. Just see what happened. The heights of the books are totally different. Okay, this is a normal UK sized paperback and this is a US paperback. Just see the height difference. It's just going to be uh, driving me crazy every time I see the books on the shelves. And this just bumps me out a lot guys and I know that you guys will understand because you're also fellow book lovers and I just wanted to put it out there in the world. Hello guys, it's the next day now and yeah, I was not able to finish the book on the same day, okay. It became pretty too heavy emotionally for me to continuously read it. So I did not want to go to sleep after reading such a heavy book. So what I did was after you saw me in the last montage writing the journal, I think I read for a couple of hours and then uh, I just engaged in other activities like watching some TV and stuff. The thing about this book is that guys, it started out in a really normal way for me, okay. It was not so strong. It was not so light. It started out in a really medium way and as the time passed it just got worse it, things got worse and when i thought okay they are worse now and they're going to get better sometime very soon but they just got even worse and when i thought it's going to get better again it goes further worse okay but towards the end it paid off really well okay all the bad things that we got to see that are described in this one they were just really well uh tied up with a ribbon towards the end okay i'm not saying that it's a happy ending but for a book like this one which talks about that much tragedy and that much sadness and hopes being crushed it was a really good ending and i should say both the main characters mariam as well as laila they are so strong characters okay so they are so different from each other but i was so confused how are these two people's lives going to be intertwined and how are they going to share a life and when we reached that point i was like okay this is just going to be such a sour story because there's no way things can work out between the, these two characters in the place where they've ended but i should say the author did an awesome way okay of how he made the two characters understand each other and everything took place after that i was just rooting for both the characters because i didn't want any more bad things to happen to them though it was continuously happening again and again and again okay and of all the other things one thing which i just loved was how the author just incorporated the afghan war with the plot of the story without like forcing it on it okay the war was continuously happening in the background but even then all the happy moments as well as some heartbreaks that they had in their personal lives were just addressed properly they were not like inserted in between the war or the war was not inserted in between all these things and uh, it did not make it flimsy or not worthy while reading i just enjoyed it the whole time each and every character they they seemed so real for me both the good characters as well as the bad characters i'm not saying that some characters are totally good and some are totally bad everyone has their shades of gray but there are some very dark shades of gray which i did not see coming okay i was sure that this book is going to have the afghan war as a background so there are going to be some violent things which are going to be discussed but i thought them on a huge scale not to the scale 
like within a home okay this shows a lot of domestic violence rather than anything and if you are a person who gets a bit more emotional or uh, if it worries you a lot please do consider that before getting into this because it plays a huge part in the book and i should say the scenes in which the domestic violence is depicted are so strong okay they are not at all light they are so strong but towards the end i should say all that things which we had to experience were just uh, properly wrapped up towards the end and i did like it a lot i'm so glad that i read it in summer rather than in winter if i had read this in like november or december trust me i would have cried a lot because i was not at all to such a great extent proper in a mental way but now i am much better okay compared to then and the summer is helping me a lot okay even though i'm spitting profusely you can just see my face glowing uh, it's that hot here in chennai and i should say the the weather also played a great role in making this book a good one for me because it takes place in the afternoon region so any season that's going to be there is shown as strong as it is both the heat as well as the cold and the heat just made this uh, made reading this book a better experience for me lastly i'd like to thank all of you guys who have been asking me to read this book for quite a while now and i'm so glad that i read it because i just enjoyed it a lot okay rather than saying enjoyed i can say that i experienced the book in a very proper and soulful way and it's really good that i decided to week it over a weekend because if i had read it within the week i would have not been able to continuously read it as i did right now and i would not have been able to experience all the things that i did right now and it was a really good book okay i'm not sure if i'll be making a dedicated review for this one since the vlog is already made so just tell me if you want to hear my detailed thoughts in a review if enough people want i'll try to make a review sometime in the future and i do think this will be one of my favorite reads of 2021 i'm not sure let's just wait and see i have to let my feelings for the book soak up a little bit and then decide okay so now i'm just a bit work up, worked up because uh, it's just been one hour since i finished reading the book and i could not just sit down and film the closing just right then because it is a really hard hitting book okay rather than anything it was really really good and i just totally enjoyed it a lot i rated one uh, this one five stars for sure and yeah that's it for today if you did enjoy watching the vlog don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it to your friends if you want to get more content from me do subscribe to the channel because i publish new videos every sunday tuesday thursday and saturday thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day